Hey everyone, right, so I didn't do an intro for this video, I am doing it the day after. Um, so yeah, this is a video basically, yeah, after the footage you're going to see. So I hope you enjoy it, obviously I know what's coming. <laughs> um, I'm going to be showing you some sales as well. Um, I don't know whether it will be on this video or the next one, it all depends because it is now Friday and I won't be doing my parcels until Sunday so it depends if I get enough content on here to make a good video but yeah I'm gonna anyway I'm gonna be going out <laughs> pretend I haven't gone out already <laughs> I'm so rubbish at this I'm gonna be going out to find some stuff to sell on eBay and I'm gonna show you what I've bought as well so bear with be patient watch to the end and I'll show you what I've got. This is a vlog. It is always a vlog, as always. So let's see what the day brings. <laughs> or what yesterday brought and what today brings as well. <laughs> see you in a bit. So I went out yesterday, as I have just explained, and I've gone to edit my video. So again, this is after I've sorted everything of my video and I've had to put this bit in to apologize I got loads of footage footage of me going in the charity shops outside the charity shops talking about what I bought I mean it was nothing particularly important but footage nevertheless have seen me out and about and for some reason it's all gone now, whether I've accidentally deleted it or whether, I don't know, I must have done. Like I said, I was tired yesterday. So all the footage that I actually had has gone. So this is literally just going to be about me, what I've bought and stuff like that. But yeah, um, so yesterday, I will add to this because it was in the footage from when I was out. Um, I bumped into one of my lovely subscribers who basically was telling me that I should ignore, <laughs> in his words, and tell the guy to, you know, go away um, for, from the car boot if I had any more problems. But yeah, apparently this guy is at other car boots too. He's been on other people's videos because he's at um, Bridlington car boot as well, Strawberry Fields, and he goes to Walton Street. So, <sighs> yeah funny but thank you anyway I wanted to thank you for that because it cheered me up made my day um, and yeah I, I had a look in several different charity shops we went to Brands Home Centre North Point Shopping Centre which I've never been to before and one of the charity shops was closed down so there was only one there and no word of a lie it was the most expensive charity shop I've ever been in in this area and it's not particularly a well-off area um they have in the north point shopping center there are a lot of discount stores there's like savers b and m boises and then they have a charity shops that that's selling stuff at ridiculous prices which i just couldn't get my head around but then like rob said to me they've got the monopoly because b and m you aren't going to get a ralph Lauren shirt so i was like yeah fair enough then we went to one on springbank west which is where I saw my subscriber. And that is right near where my family live. Um, well, some of my family. And it's just a small little Dove House shop. We went in there, found a couple of bits in there. And then we went back to Lisa's, had a lovely lunch, which she made me, which was gorgeous, a lovely salad. So thank you to Lisa for that and a cup of tea. We missed the rain. It absolutely chucked it down, missed the rain. I rang Rob in a panic about the washing because that was out, but he brought it in. And then we went to the Big Cancer Research, which I absolutely love in Amla Bay. And I got quite a lot of stuff from there. So this video is gonna be showing you that stuff. I may be showing you some sales too. It depends if I get them out today, because like I've said before, it's Friday. Don't normally get my Friday sales out till Sunday. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how we get on. But yeah, I'll, all I can do is apologize. I had some good footage that would have mixed it up a little bit and it's completely gone to pot. <laughs> So it shows me that I shouldn't be editing videos when I'm tired because I've just literally deleted it all. I must have done because it doesn't delete itself, does it? 
anyway i hope you enjoyed the video let me know in the comments what you think let's get into it right so it's now the next day and yeah i was tired out last night got back from being at the charity shops and i had i just got a banging headache i was tired i was just yeah and i had loads to do when i got home because obviously i've been out all day so the kitchen was a mess the washing needed sorting blah 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 so by the time i'd done all that i was just like i can't do the video <laughs> so i'm showing you now what i bought i'm actually really excited and you'll find out why very soon right so here we are i made a couple of mistakes here but then i don't know whether you can class them as mistakes i'm gonna let you decide in the comments but i'm really pleased with what i've got so it's mostly vintage items today um and clothing i got one thing for myself as well which i was real chuffed about i desperately need some more clothes oh sorry yeah that's i've got washing up all over behind me and i nearly just knocked off a tray full of water and i would have kept it in the video too because i like to show all my um mishaps <laughs> shall we say okay so let's get into it i've got a rough idea of how much these things are worth because i have researched most of it the clothing not so much but yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes so these pans lisa found a lot of this stuff for me i will say lisa found the pans for me she also spotted the glasses and she definitely found this ornament i did see those glasses before and i was going to look at them but i got distracted lisa took me back to them so that was good i, I get distracted very easily and um, so this she found for me but we'll go into that in a bit anyway these pans these are is it Jean Patrick Professional Pans? So what I did is I bought this one with this one inside it. So the top, the big one has a lid. The little one inside does not. This like sauce pan. And then these two pans here. Well, a pan and a colander. Now these two were with this. And these two were together. So I thought that those two were the same make as this because this one as well is Jean Patrick or oh, whatever you call it I always butcher names don't I <laughs> anyway these are worth good money what I'm gonna do because those two are not marked so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these three as a bundle I think I'm going to do them on an auction because auctions tend to do well with this make of pan. I'm going to start them at £50. Um, so I've got this saucepan. Well, it's not a saucepan, is it? It's like a frying pan inside. I've got the other one that has the lid with it. And then I've got this, which is a saucepan, I believe. God, you can tell I don't cook, can't you? I'm letting all my secrets out on this channel. <laughs> I can cook. I just don't like cooking. I'm a bit of the Ainsley Har Harriet, you know. Can't cook, won't cook um but rob enjoys cooking so i don't need to and then when he don't want to cook we get a takeaway and that's why i've put on about 45 pounds no not that much actually i probably have but anyway getting off subject these pans do pretty well but my, t my, my problem with this is i bought these thinking that all of these were jean patrick professional pans and those two aren't so I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm either going to sell these three together because they are all branded and then sell those two on their own or I might just throw those two in with this because they are branded. So I'll have to see what they're worth on their own. If they're less than £10, they're going in with the bundle. And I think that's the only way to do it. Second mistake of the day was this gorgeous lamp. Now I saw this on the shelf and I thought that looks vintage it's not vintage it's not vintage and when you look at the bottom i'm not going to lift it up because i'm worried that i'll break it it's really heavy really heavy quality and it's got this lovely crystal bottom look it's gorgeous and it's kind of the chrome 
makes the crystally bit sparkle and it's just beautiful so i thought oh, it's definitely worth something there's also a crystally bit up there look but the problem is it's from b and m b and m bargains and i didn't see that it's on the sticker on the bottom so i have a dilemma here i can sell it as b and m and probably not get much for it or i can keep it I don't know. I don't know what to do. The thing is, I don't really need another lamp. But, I mean, I'm not going to be out of pocket, but I'm hoping the style will sell it and I'll get more. But if, obviously, if I am completely transparent on my listing and put B&M bargains in the title, people aren't going to want it. So my question to you, my people, is... Forget my... Oh, Ignore my pots. I keep showing you all my pots. Look at my washing up over there. It's disgusting. Anyway, <laughs> I've been at my son's assembly this morning. That's why it's not done yet. And I wanted to get all this done first. Then I'm going to do the pots after I've listed all this lovely stuff. But yeah, um, what would you do? I mean, there are several scenarios with this, aren't there? You let me know what you would do with this in the comments. I'm interested to know. I don't know what to do. Do I put B&M bargains in the title or do I just disclose it somewhere else, like in the photographs or in the item specifics? Do I not mention it's from B&M bargains? I don't know whether that's a bad thing to do. I mean, I think this is a beautiful lamp and I think the style is gorgeous and it feels quality. I feel like you stick B&M bargains on it and I feel bad saying this because it's a great shop, but it kind of devalues it because people think it's going to be cheap and tacky. I don't know. Anyway, let's see. Let's see what you all think in the comments. Then I got this. Now, this is gorgeous. I couldn't leave this behind. Now, it has got a bit of a rusty screw on the top, but that could be replaced, couldn't it? That's what I thought. And I thought for £2.50, I'm not going to leave this behind. It's a lovely cake stand. I've got a ballerina there. I did some Google imaging on this and they're all over the place in price. Now, I don't think this is silver or silver plated or anything like that because I can't find any markings on it to indicate that. But it's definitely, obviously, metal and it's really lovely. So I think that's an Etsy job. Don't know how much I'm going to put it on for. I need to do some serious research. The prices are all over when you Google stuff like this. Google lends it and you just find all sorts. So I don't know. Anyway, these glasses. <laughs> wow. So, let me get the chair out. Sorry about that awful noise. And sit down here. If you look at the stems, these were all together in a bundle. So if you look at the stems, these ones have like a curve to them. So we've got three like that look. And then those ones are straight. So I've got six ones that are straight, but one of them has a chip in the bottom. I'm going to get it out really carefully and show you. See? See that chip? Now, I don't think that was like that when I picked it up in the shop. But when I put it into the basket, obviously I had all these glasses. I didn't have much to cushion them, so I kind of balanced them on top of each other. And I think that might be when that happened. But I'm lucky to get them home in this condition, to be honest. We know I have previous with glass. Not the best at all. But I've Google lensed these. Right, so these ones with these stems, someone has got one listed for £7. So obviously I've got three with the same, le with the same stem. So I'm going to try a little higher because I've got a set of three. These with the straight stem... Someone has got, I think it's, a, I think it is a bundle of either eight or ten. And they have sold for £153 for these exact glasses. Now, obviously, I've only got six and there's a chip in the bottom of one of them. So I need to research exactly you know, what I can sell these for and everything and really think about it. I'm not going to put them on for £153 because I haven't got enough and I've got damage to one of them. But they should be a good price. Hopefully, I can sell them for that. 
I've not shown you this yet. <laughs> I got this gorgeous vintage case. Oh my God. I saw that from across the shop and I was like, that is mine. I need it. Um, hopefully 15, 20 on that. Then I've got this. Um, I think I've had this brand before. Lina Tiomi, made in Italy. It's a linen dress. It's got this lovely, almost like Egyptian patterning with beads on the front. Grey, perfect for the warm weather. Don't know how much that will, you know, that will go for. No idea. Need to do a bit of research. I'm going to break on my glasses now. Then I've got a Roland, Roland Klein, uh, Roland Klein, Roland Klein dress. Um, this is a size 22. It's like a coral shift dress. It's in pretty good condition. I'm hoping I can get about 15, maybe 17 for that. Louisa Ricky, made in Italy, size large jumper. This is lovely and it's got wool and alpaca in, I believe. So let me have a look and show you. Here we go. Acrylic. Fica wool alpaca. There's an art number. Yeah, that's a nice one. Hopefully 20 for that. Maybe more. Maybe more. This is mine. Got myself a nice teal coloured ribbed jumper thing. That'll be, that's for me. Now, I talk on here. I don't know whether I have talked on here about this anywhere. I always have this thing where if I want something or need something, should I say, for the house or for the kids or for myself, or I've been looking for something for a while, I and I walk into a shop and it's there, then I say it's for me. Now, this happened a long time ago with a cup that I've got over there on the shelf I'm not going to show you it because the shelf is filthy. I need to clean in here. <laughs> the shelf is disgusting. When my daughter Haley was a baby, there was a clearance sale at a card shop. And I went in there and there was one cup left on the shelf. And the cup said Haley on it. It's like a bubblegum cup, you know, with the bubblegum people on it. And I bought that cup, 50p. Because how could I not? And I said that was left there for me to buy for Hayley. She was newborn. And a very similar thing happened. So when Hayley goes to university in September, <laughs> I can't even think about it right now. I've already said goodbye to one child and sent them off to uni. Now I'm having to do it with another one. Part of growing up, people, in it? It's part of growing up. <laughs> Honestly, I'm such a child. I do think the maturity and growing up is a state of mind, though. You don't need to give in to it, so don't. It's a trick. It's a trick. Anyway, yeah. So my son, Dexter, will be having Haley's bed that she's in now. She's got a three-quarter double bed. And he loves Minecraft. And this is a double bed set. Minecraft double bed set. And it was right there. On the bedding pile, waiting for me at this charity shop. Three ninety nine. <sighs> I was like, yes. I was so excited. I didn't even think about getting in bedding either. It's like somebody else had thought about it for me and left it there for me. And I will add as well, the shop that I bought that from is the one that had all the really expensive clothing that I did the short on. So three ninety nine for that. Amazing. This is lovely. It reminds me of my mum. My mum had one very similar. Um, this is Britain's number one dishwasher and it's got the old fairy liquid bottle, one pound. Oh, I love it. I don't know how much it'll be worth. That'll be an Etsy job, I would have thought. Hopefully around £15. Land's End. This is not a brand I normally pick up, but I did it for, but I picked it up for two reasons, three reasons. Two reasons. I don't know. Anyway, we'll go into it. So I saw on a recent video that I believe Chaddy Pete did. He picked up some Land's End and was saying about how good it was. And he put comps on the screen. So I was like, oh, okay. So I saw this, remembered that. It's also new with tags. Yeah, so there's three reasons. It's new with tags. I saw Chaddy Pete pick it up and it was worth good money. And the design. Look at that. 
So also, when I looked on the label inside, where is it? Oh, I'm chinging these glasses. I'm getting nervous now. I have never seen this before. What is this? I need to Google it. O-E-K-O-Tex. Now, I would imagine it's like Gore-Tex, that sort of thing, but obviously maybe not. It's not just the same. It doesn't do the same thing. But I think Land's End is like a walking gear, is it? So, like I said, I haven't got any experience with this brand at all, but it's really funky. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to have a go with that. Not bad. Don't know how much it's worth. Got myself another blanket. So this, Lisa saw this and she was like, oh, it's horrible colours. You don't want that, do you? And I went, yes, I do. The fuglier, the better. Honestly, I do believe that ugly things sell. People love a bit of fugly in their life. And this looks really like 1970s, 1980s. I do know it's not that old. Well, at least I believe it's not that old. It could have been kept really well. But it's hand knitted, crocheted, whatever you want to say. Zigzaggy. The most vile colours. But it's beautiful. Beautiful in the same sense. I hope I can get at least £15 for that because I love it. Anyway, right, I'm going to go into this now. Let's try not to break it. <laughs> I hate glass. I buy so much glass, so much ceramic. And I'm just like, oh, my God. Right, so this. <sighs> Look at it. Beautiful. Now, I believe, and I'm not going to make out that I am an expert because I've had Rob and Lisa tell me about this. So Lisa told me first. Lisa found this for me. I think, Julie, I think I found something really good. Look at this. And I was like, that is beautiful. Anyway, Murano glass apparently is a big thing. It's an expensive thing. This is really heavy. It has no markings. But from the Murano glass items that we have researched, they have a sticker on. So there's no actual etching into the glass. They have stickers on and the sticker can easily come off. I need to Google lenses a bit more, but ones like this have sold for over £100. So I've got possibly £100 worth of glasses there and possibly a £100 figurine here. It's gorgeous. And it looks like you could actually put flowers in it or something. Look, there's like a... Can you see that in there? like a hole inside but it's amazing so nice so i need to get this listed and i need to get it packed away so i don't break it but i think you can agree the the mistakes i've made have definitely been made up by the glasses and the ornament so I'm pretty happy with this stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments. Would you have picked this stuff up? Would you have picked up the clothing and the blanket and the apron? What about the lamp? I really need to start checking lamps on the bottom. And the annoying thing about that lamp is that I did pick it up and look at the bottom and I did not see that it said B&M Bargains. If I did see that, I would have put it back. I know I would have. But I don't think it's a loss. I think I could possibly get away with selling that. So let me know in your comments. What do you think? Would you have picked up all this stuff? I really am loving my homeware at the minute. I'm loving my homeware more than I'm loving toys. I think to be fair, I've gone away from toys a little bit because I'm not really finding anything of any value with toys so it's sad really because i used to love doing them as you all know the problem i've found as well with vintage toys is i think most people now have cottoned on to the fact that they are worth something so if they do go into a charity shop the likelihood is that they will have gone before i get there people will have took them and if there are any they're usually in really bad condition i used to buy things that were broken because I used to buy them thinking that people would buy them off me for parts. But there isn't a great deal of money in it. Some things there are. And I'm not bad-mouthing anyone that does that. Because I would never do that. 
each to their own there are things that i sell that i think when i put on my video i think people are gonna think well, she does not know what she's doing <laughs> but we all make mistakes and this is the thing with reselling it's a constant learning curve and also the market changes all the time i used to sell barbie dolls constantly i used to buy barbie dolls and when i went out yesterday i saw some barbie dolls a big bag of them there was barbies and disney dolls now going back two years i would have bought those but i didn't because i know now that there are other things i can buy that are better and don't get me wrong there are still some dolls out there that i will pick up but these were all modern and i just thought no i don't want them and Lisa was even surprised with me because I think she thought, God, you know, you always buy dolls. And I do. But they, I have to be more savvy. Me and Rob had a discussion the other day basically saying that I need, to, well, we both need to basically think more about what we're buying and the profits and all that. Otherwise, you know, we are going to go under because you can't run a business by making a pound off an item every so often. So I was extra, extra picky, but that's why I'm so annoyed about that lamp. <laughs> but I went more for the look. I got, I got mesmerized and distracted by its beauty. That's what it is. Yeah. Minx. Anyway, <laughs> if you ever heard anyone call a lamp a minx, there you go. Right, so I'm going to get these listed now. I'm going to do a little short to put on. Um, about what I'm doing and crack on with the rest of the video. See you in a bit. So I wanted to just point out that I have opened a group on Facebook which is going to be hopefully different footage to everywhere else and after my blunder with my um, footage today some of that has actually gone into the group so if you fancy joining my group on Facebook it's going to be different to this um, there's going to be different topics of conversation going on. Everyone's allowed to basically put their two penithin in there. Getting a community together, basically, in within my group. So that's what I want to do. So we can go there, we can chat. I'll go live in there every now and again, come and say hello. And yeah, just a bit of a community. So if you want to join, it is on my actual um, community tab on my channel. Um, and it's also, I think it is also in my link tree on my Instagram as well. I've also got a TikTok, which is on my channel. The link to that's on my channel. And I've started putting more content about reselling on there too. Everywhere is going to be different if I can. Um, obviously, sometimes things will cross over, but it's mostly I'm going to try and do different content on every one. You have to do it different ways anyway, so that kind of helps. But I hope you enjoy it and please come over, say hello. Join my group on Facebook if you're on there. I could do with the support. I've got, we'll be asking questions in there. I'll be posting things that we can interact with each other. Get to know me a bit more and have more of a conversation with you all in there if you like you can get to know you all better so come on over and say hello okay four is the magic number apparently <laughs> got some sales to show you so i have sold ignore the bits of paper um this brat's doll it's a yasmin doll um she has gone for 16 pound 83 um plus postage so really pleased with her um yeah, these have been hanging around for a long time, but I've had them priced at all different prices. So that's probably why. These shoes have gone for just under £22. They are gorgeous. I love these. They give me um, pixie fairy vibes, you know, like Tinkerbell vibes. So these are Marco Tozas. They are a size 42, which I think, I think it's an eight, seven and a half or an eight. Anyway they've gone yeah just under 22 then i've sold this termy vintage baby toy that's gone for just over 12 i believe plus postage and it's going to ireland and this lovely pony has sold for i think again just over 12 pound um these used to go for a lot more the markets come right down and i don't understand why i think 
everybody that's ever had a collection or that has kept them in their loft or kept them for whatever reason has decided to put them on eBay and the prices have come down. Some of them are worth a lot of money, so it's always worth comping them. But obviously you've got to find, Google Lens is the best way to do this, but you've got to find the name of the pony to be able to comp it properly. Google Lens is great for that. Brat dolls take a little bit more because they all look very similar. And when you Google Lens a doll, I don't know whether you've ever done it, but when you Google Lens a doll, yeah, it just brings up every single doll ever made that looks similar to this, which is a lot. Anyway, that are the, they are the sales for today. And this is where I'm going to end the video. I'm actually in my pyjamas today, hair all over, no makeup, so I'm not showing you me at the end this time. So... <laughs> mixes it up a bit for you anyway doesn't it take care be kind stay safe and i'll see you on the next one ta-ta everybody <laughs> ta-ta